Hey, what's up, iDevice community? This is Otis Huff from Twitter. I'm here to show you how to use an iPhone skin, which is similar to a theme, except it's not a complete theme because I'm not jailbroken. So what I did is I figured out how to make it look like I have a theme, and it functions, but only the springboard. It's a good pacifier if you're not jailbroken and you're waiting for the iOS 7 jailbreak. So here we go. I'll be using chlorophyll, which is a theme I created and never released. Eventually, maybe I will. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, here we go. Once you get to the blog, you go down, you hold down on the image, and you save it to your uh, camera roll. You do that with the lock screen, and you do that with each one of these icons here. Save all of these to your camera roll. Once you get that done, go to your camera roll. Now, select that one, right? Make it your home screen wallpaper. Set as home screen. All right. Now, at this point, you may as well set this as your lock screen as well. So we'll set that as lock screen. All right. Now you want to go to your springboard, make your icon shake. Now take a screenshot right here. Got my screenshot. Cool. Now in the uh, description up there on the blog, you're going to see a couple links. One will be I empty, and one will be I custom. First step, go to I empty. All right, go to this little choose file, choose existing, go to your camera roll, select that screenshot that you just took, and upload it. All right, now you see it has the screenshot with all these little icon areas. This is where you make blank icons. So we want to make one by one. All right, I like it, I like it. So I'm gonna save this to my home screen. And right here you can put text if you want. Right now they have blank letters in there, that's why the add button is blue. Now if I erased it, that wouldn't be blue anymore and I would have to find more blank letters. So don't erase that. Add. All right, let's drag that over here. Put it there. Bam, blank icon. All right, let's do the next one. <clears throat> Just keep doing this. All right, I got my top row, blank icons, as you can see. See them right there, four blank icons. Can't even tell they're there. Awesome. Now we need to make our Google Plus, Music, and Dropbox apps. So what we do is in the description inside the blog, you will see iCustom. Go to iCustom link. Go to start now. Scroll down, choose your app. We're going to do Google Plus. So I'm going to check. We'll go to Google Apps. Google Plus. Now, as far as right now, 
I have it set up where you're going to need to use the exact same icons as I have on my phone, my springboard. But uh, on request, I can make you a custom one with whatever icons you need for your layout. And on the blog, if you scroll down, there will be a list of all the icons I can use or all the uh, apps that can be done this way. You see that pop-up generator thing right there? Turn that off. All right, now go. Let's go. Okay, now right here, I want to save that to my home screen. Add it. Now it's right here. Take it over. Put it there. Bam. Done. Now I click it. Opens up Google Plus. Cool. Can't even tell it's there. Amazing, right? Bam. As you can see, there's no like outlines or anything weird. It looks very fresh. I think I just gave somebody a shout out on accident. Whatever. All right. So you're gonna do that with all the icons. So obviously here you have icons. That one is a blank icon. These ones, you have custom icons. Then this whole row here will be blank icons. And then here is two blank icons, two custom icons, four custom icons, so on and so forth. You get it. Alright guys, good luck. If that wasn't enough help, then God help you.